I'm back with a cooking show, and I am going to show you how to make my very favorite dish to make for my family and to take to others if someone is sick or had a baby. This is definitely my go-to meal, and it is lasagna. I learned this from my mom, and it's really, really super easy. All you're going to need is some spaghetti sauce, and I just have traditional today. Normally, I like to get the kind with mushrooms just to add a little bit more to your lasagna, but I, they didn't have any today. Also, if you're going to add mushrooms to your lasagna, make sure to cook them down first because they have so much moisture in there. If you just put them in there raw, it adds too much water and it affects your lasagna, so make sure to cook those down first or use canned ones. Also, this is the best thing ever invented when making lasagna, and it is oven-ready noodles. You can just put them in just like they are, and they cook while the lasagna is cooking in the oven. You're going to need some mozzarella cheese. I just use one bag. If you like a lot of cheese, you can use two. Also some sour cream, any brand. And I normally like my container to be a little bit bigger. Casey was nice enough to run to the grocery store and he grabbed the things that I needed. So he grabbed this one. And thank goodness he grabbed two. So I have two here. And then some cottage cheese. And you're not gonna need quite this much. But I don't normally measure everything out, just throw it in there, it works great no matter what you do. Something else you can do if you're watching your fat and calories, you can get low fat or fat free cottage cheese and sour cream. That's always a good option. And the last ingredient that you'll need is ground beef or ground turkey. We're using ground turkey today because we're just trying to watch our calorie intake and our fat intake and definitely trying to limit red meat. But of course, ground beef is really great in lasagna. So I will grab that. Okay, so I have preheated my oven to 350. This all mixes together really fast, so it gives it, your oven just enough time to heat up to the right temperature. So I'm gonna start by adding my spaghetti sauce to my ground turkey. And I have browned about a pound of ground turkey with onion. You don't have to use onion, it's optional, whatever you get, your family likes better. So I started by pouring some of the spaghetti sauce in with the ground turkey, and I'm going to mix it to see the consistency. I don't want it to be too runny, but I also want there to be enough spaghetti sauce in there that you can taste it really well, and so that the mixture goes a little farther. Normally I do this over the oven with a little bit of heat just to kind of warm that up, but you don't have to, it's gonna cook in the oven. I'm going to add a little bit more to that. Now I'm going to do the sour cream and cottage cheese mixture. I'm going to take my sour cream and put that in a bowl. Then add some cottage cheese. So just finished mixing that really well. And I didn't use this whole container of cottage cheese, there's still some in there. And I used about one and a half containers of sour cream. Okay, and then we're just gonna start layering. So take your noodles. And just layer them along the bottom. Some of them might break, but it's okay. Then we're gonna start by adding the meat mixture. We're gonna be layering this twice, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get enough to cover everything, but you don't want to use all of the mixture on the first layer. Okay, so once you have that layer down, we're going to move on to the next mixture. And do the same thing, we're just gonna layer on top of that. You're gonna and you're going to want to be gentle when you mix this one so it doesn't stir it all up. This part drives Casey crazy. He's like, why don't you just dump that on there? You can't do it that way. Okay, and once that layer is down, we're going to add our next layer, which is mozzarella cheese, and just sprinkle that on. If you're just going to use one bag, I would be a little less generous with this middle layer and leave more for the top because that's going to cover the whole entire thing. 
Okay, so we're gonna start doing our second layer. We're gonna get our noodles back out and layer those. And on the second layer, we're not gonna start with the meat mixture. We're gonna start with the white mixture. So just layer that on there. Okay, and then our next layer will be the meat sauce again. Okay, and our last layer will be the mozzarella cheese. Okay, so once you have that all done and put together, you're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about 35 minutes. You can also cook this for about 20 minutes covered with tin foil and then take the cover off for about 20 more minutes. So whatever way you would like to cook it, I'm just going to pop it in there for about 35 minutes. It's gonna look like that and your kids will love it. Please let me know if you guys try this. I love hearing from you guys and I love seeing pictures um, and hearing from you guys down in the comments below on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey Kaylee, lasagna, roll one, scene one, cake one. Did you guys see that? <laughs> <laughs>